if you are new to the channel then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification okay student welcome you to the new lecture in intermediate level where we are building the concept on circles for je main and advanced level so we'll, today we will see the parametric equation of a circle how we will parameterize a circle equation and we will also see a little bit about equation of normals or orthogonal to a circle okay then let's see this so if you want to find the parametric equation of a circle suppose this circle equation that i have considered standard equation this is a circle now what is parametric form parametric form means instead of having two variables we should write it in a single variable that is the idea if you can write it as because in, in normal cartesian format if you take x and y as a coordinate you have two variables with you that means you need two equation but if i can make take a point which is have one variable only then it becomes helpful for me in some calculations in circle it will be helpful in par parabola parabola it will be very helpful so that is that's why it is known as parametrization parametrization means directly we are not relating x y in a single equation we have a, we will introduce a parameter parameter parametric parameter so that is known as parametrization of this algebraic equation so you have to do something so that if a single variable can help so you have to think of or suppose because it is square something square plus something square equal to something so it's better to go trigonometry so you'll see if if i consider x minus a is equal to r cos theta then it will be r square cos square theta r square sin square theta r square r square cat cancel cos square plus sin square equal to r so this because this has to be satisfied this is the original equation so if i consider it this way you can consider it different ways so it is r sin theta it is r cos theta but it is convention if you see polar form also this is r then it is theta this x we always treat as r cos theta not mandatory but standard form that's why we have because otherwise it will make confuse you in some case it is cos theta in some case it is sin theta that's why can maintaining that old convention that's why it is r cos theta but it is not related to that polar form you can take r sin theta also but as we have already taken in case of polar form it is r cos theta x so that's why we are maintaining that so x is equal to this and y is equal to this so these two together made the parametric equation parametric equation not a single equation both these together now if you eliminate theta from these two you will get this expression so if you want to find a now a, a point you will not put x and y you will put this comma this so h and r you already know h you know r you know k you know r you know so the only variable is theta so with single variable you can represent a point so that is the importance of parametrization so you will you will get you will need less equation and you will get you can solve it in first time in in a more speedily manner the time taken for the solving the equation will be very less because with one variable you will be dealing with only theta next to find the equation of a normal or orthogonal to a circle suppose you have a circle and a point is given you need to find the normal what is normal if you find a tangent at this point 90 degree to that tangent is the normal so because the radius radius if you draw a circle tangent this angle is always 90 so the orthogonal the or then normal that you draw that has always pass through the center in case of circle it should always pass through the center you are getting it because it has to be 90 and in case of tangent 90 happens so when you draw a line from center to that point so if you draw a 90 degree line it should pass through center because that is the theorem if you draw a line from this one then only it will be 90 so this line is the normal line so the normal line is nothing but this is given this is given so the normal of a circle will always pass through it. so you have a point you have a point so two point you have so you can find the equation two point formula y minus y1 Is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 x minus x1. So using that formula, you can find the equation of the normal. So this line you have to always remember. Normal to a circle at any given point will always has to pass through the origin. That is very important step. If you know this one, then you can no need to remember this one. You can solve it in exam also. Two point you know, you can find the equation. If you like the video, then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section.